So for today's video, I thought I'd give myself a little bit of a challenge. I want to create this entire video using only Windows XP. And based on the fact that you're watching it, that means that I was successful. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made an entire video using a 20 year old operating system right now on the Linux lounge. So indeed, as I said during the opening to this video, all of this video was made using Windows XP. No other operating system required. Now you might ask, why would I do this? Well, I'm a nerd and I wanted to challenge myself to see just how much can be done with Windows XP in 2021. So to do this, first I went ahead and installed Windows XP in a virtual machine on my main PC. Now, a lot of people are gonna call that cheating, but I didn't have any hardware to spare for Windows XP. And to be honest, I wanted to have the best possible experience using XP on a modern desktop anyway. Although I have to say, I would have liked to have used time appropriate hardware that was, you know, common in the era. I should also add that as an additional challenge, I wanted to use as much open source software as possible when making this video, since that's kind of the theme of this channel. So after I've got my Windows XP virtual machine set up, the first thing that I went ahead and did is got everything set up. I went ahead and installed all of the programs and drivers necessary to use Windows XP inside my virtual machine, and I also went ahead and installed perhaps one of the last web browsers that is still maintained for Windows XP, and that browser is called MyPal, which is a fork of another browser called Pale Moon, which is in itself based on Firefox. And I've got to say, MyPal has perhaps the cutest logo I have ever seen. As well as having a cute logo, it's also completely open source, which is much appreciated. Once all of that was done and set up, it was time to start making this video. Now, the first thing that I do whenever I make one of my videos is write out a script. And to do that, I went ahead and installed OpenOffice. Now, usually I use LibreOffice, but the newest version of that no longer supports Windows XP, which is a shame, but at the least there is still an open source Office suite that's up to date on Windows XP. Presumably you could also use an old version of Microsoft Office, but who would want to do that when you can use a fully up-to-date open source Office suite? The next thing that I tend to do when I'm making my videos is record the script. Now, usually for this, I use Audacity, but for whatever reason the newest version of Audacity won't work on Windows XP, even though it will install. Potentially I could have used an older version, but I don't really know how far back I'd have to go for that. So instead I just opted to use Open Audio, which sadly isn't open source, but there is at least a Linux version of it, so I have used it before. Sadly, when I passed my Blue Snowball mic through to the Windows XP virtual machine, I found that it didn't work, as the microphone isn't Windows XP compatible, and the makers of the Blue Snowball microphone haven't made any drivers for Windows Windows XP. However, with the help of website Time Machine, I was actually able to find some old drivers for my Blue Snowball, which enabled it to work perfectly on Windows XP, and then I was able to use it to record this video. After that's done, the next step is to edit the video. Usually for a video like this, that involves editing together some video clips, my recorded audio, and any images that I might have gathered. Usually for this, I'll use Caden Live, but as far as I can tell, no version of Caden Live supports Windows XP. Now, I looked and looked for a video editor that still works on XP, or at the very least has an old version lying around that still works, but I genuinely could not find anything. I'm sure there's something out there, but I couldn't find it. So I'm going to say, at the moment, as far as I can tell, the only solution for video editing on XP is if you have an old version of a proprietary video editing program, you should use that maybe, which is what I did. As it happens, I actually own a copy of Serif Movie Plus 5 that so someone gave me a while ago and I use that to edit this video and as well as the rest of the Serif suite it works perfectly fine on Windows XP. It's not very good as a program. This wasn't an advanced video editor for its time and it definitely is showing its age. However, I could use it to combine the clips together and export to 1080p with a bit of messing around. Good enough for this video. The only frustration is that codec support is quite weak in this program. For instance, it doesn't support MP4s, but that's not a big deal since I had mod versions of all the videos I wanted to use here anyway. And then, after all that was done, the final step here was to create a thumbnail for this video. And for that, I sadly had to cave and use an old version of a program. Originally, I wanted to use Critter, as the servers for Critter still have an older version which supports XP, but for some reason, that didn't want to install. So instead, I used version 2.8 of the GNU Image Manipulation Program, which isn't actually that old. I think it was only released in 2000. 
2017. And to be honest, it actually has all of the features that most people are probably going to want. And I was able to use it absolutely fine to create the thumbnail for this video. And with all of that done, I created a video that was ready to be uploaded. Now, I could have uploaded it straight from Windows XP as all of the sites I upload my videos to actually work completely fine on Windows XP with the MyPal browser, but for some strange reason I didn't trust the pirated copy of a nearly two decade old operating system with my login details and Google account. So I simply copied all of the files that I needed back onto my main system and uploaded them from there. Now in conclusion, I obviously don't recommend that anyone use Windows XP in 2021. It's been out of support for years and Barely any modern software still supports it. However, I have to say, it is actually impressive just how much you can still do with a two decade old operating system. And hey, maybe I would even recommend going back and messing around with Windows XP from time to time to see what you can do. It was a pretty great and comfy operating system after all. <laughs> Thank you.